What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be going over my favorite technique, the secret sauce to growing your hair quickly. Before we get started, if you've been growing out your hair for a while and you need a little bit of extra help, don't worry, I got you. I got a free hair routine template going over what to do to your hair from day one to day seven of managing your curls. If you want that, it's completely free. Go down in the description and download it. And whilst you are down there, since you're in the vicinity, you can hit the like button. The video is not paused, bro. I, I, I'm waiting for you. I need you to lock in right now. Because this, this, what I'm about to tell you is the best game anyone's ever going to put you on. The easiest way to grow out your hair is to use protective styles. I know some of the OGs have heard this again and again, but I have some more tips. Some, some secret sauce that I have not shared with you guys as yet. Not every protective style is the same. So you're going to want to use them in different situations when it comes to growing out your hair. Let me, let me give you an example. I often tell you guys, if you're getting your first protective style or your hair isn't that long yet, that you should get cornrows first. Why? Because it has the lowest barrier of entry. When you're getting cornrows, it's not... The focus isn't necessarily on the length of your cornrows, but more of the style. You could get a crazy design and stuff like that. But here's the caveat to cornrows. When they start to frizz up, that's when they start to look really off, right? Compared to a style like two strand twist. I find like you could get you could get away with a lot of frizz when it comes to two strand twist. I'm gonna start to look like locks, right? So it's not really a big issue, right? And use different protective styles different ways when it comes to hair growth. Let's stick with cornrows for a stack. Let's go over some tips when it comes to cornrows. The second you get out of that braided chair, you are gonna push your do-rag on. And you are not gonna take that off until you have to leave the house or show off your cornrows. This is not the time to be showing off the new style, brother. You're trying to make these last for at least a month. So you need to keep them in the chamber, keep them locked away. Think of getting a protective style, like getting some new AF1s. Like some new Air Forces. Let me land, let me land. You wanna keep those in the box. You only wanna take them out on those very special occasions. Cause you don't wanna, you don't wanna mess them up. You don't want to have to go get another pair. See, you, hold on now. Let me land. Let me land, right? You want to keep it looking fresh and clean. Same thing applies to your cornrows or protective styles in general, but your cornrows. You only want to show them off when you have to, when it's really imperative. You can't just be wearing them out to any event, just like the AF ones. You can't just be taking them out for any reason. You can't just be showing them off for any reason. You got to keep it, keep it in the bank. Keep it in a little pocket, a little plan B. Hold on, no, that's not what I'm talking about. A little ace in the hole, that's that's what I meant. That's what I meant to say. You wanna keep those covered, trust me. You wanna minimize that frizz. Do not take, and you don't need your do-rag to be super tight, right? Literally just put it on. Just so there's some compression on it, but you know, you don't want your head to be hurting. Now, I would advise that you use two strand twists if your hair is a little bit longer because yeah, nobody wants those worm twists. But you know how I told you you could get like a month out of cornrows? When it comes to two strand twists, specifically if you get mini twists. Now I haven't put you guys on this yet. I need you to pay attention. Lock in. With mini twists, you could probably stretch it out to two months. Since the parting is so small, can't really see it like that. Once it starts to get messy, it just starts to look like locks basically. You don't have to worry about it. So you could keep it in for way longer, especially if you're still taking care of it. Now with cornrows, you're not really gonna be moisturizing the cornrows like like that or at least I, I don't do that I usually don't do it because the focus is more on the parts it's more on the scalp not the actual braids but when it comes to two strand twists you're gonna want to focus on the actual maintenance of the twist you might like spray your hair with water put some some mousse or leave-in conditioner on it basically just to revive it every so often see this is why it's a little bit different with the protective styles the twist you're gonna be maintaining it and you can actually get a lot more life out of the style now these are the main protective styles that I use I don't like to use box braids or single braids for one reason and that's because it takes super long to take out but if you are trying to grow your hair in the most economical way possible in the most time saving way possible protective styles are the way to go specifically cornrows two strand twists more specifically mini twists mini twists are the go trust me all right i have not put y'all onto this game yet but mini twists when you're trying to stretch out the time you can keep those in for at least two months at least three months okay maybe not three months and if you're trying to boost the hair growth 
as you're doing this as well, make sure that you are oiling your scalp with an essential oil two to three times a week. That's going to help with the itching sensation and that's also going to help with the boost in hair growth. You can also do scalp massages. I wouldn't do scalp massages if you have cornrows though. That's going to ruin it too quickly. I'm also curious to know what is your favorite protective style at the moment. Mine, mine typically switches. It's a twist right now just because you're growing on my undercut. But let me know down below in the comments. And whilst you're down there, you can hit the like button. I know you heard me the first time, nigga. It's fine. It's fine. I ain't tripping. I ain't tripping. So you hate the video? Fine. That was that was that was a little that was a little sassy. I got a little bit out of character just now. And if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like this one. I advise you check it out. That's all for me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.